ladies and gentlemen, I can honestly tell you that La Fe Flora is the epitome of the American dream and gives new meaning to being rewarded for hard work. So without further delay, La Fe, would you and your family please come forward? Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the reading of the promotion. Attention to order. Special orders number GO145-01, dated 24 May 2016. The President of the United States has reserved special trust, and confidence, patriotism, valor, fidelity, and honor for the latte floor. In view of these qualities, Demonstrated leadership potential. He is there, therefore promoted to Brigadier General with the date of rank of 23 May 2016. By order of the Secretaries of the Army and the Air Force, signed General Frank J. Grass, Chief National Guard Bureau. General Flora's wife, Twi, and daughter Christine will now place the one star insignia of Brigadier General on his uniform and beret. Major General Williams will now administer the oath to Brigadier General Flora. Obligation freely, without any mental reservations, or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the office of Brigadier General and the Army of the National Guard of Virginia, upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Brigadier General Flora it will now present his wife and daughter with flowers in appreciation of her love and support. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce Brigadier General Latte Flora, the Assistant Adjutant General of Strategic Initiatives.
thank you so much for the kind, generous introduction, and also thank you very much for hosting today's opening ceremony. I am immensely grateful for this appointment, and I will do my utmost best to fulfill this responsibility with both honor and humility. Now, before I begin my remark, I would like to. Uh, thank several individuals here, actually quite a few, that really put this whole event together. First, I would like to uh, thank Major Lindsay. He's not only the MC today, but he actually the project lead for the whole thing, tried to synchronize everything, all the resources. Folks need to uh, get to where we need to be and all that good stuff. Thank you so much. And then to uh, Mr. Martin Lin, <coughs> who's the uh, director of this facility here, really appreciate the foundation allow us to have this uh, event in this wonderful place. And then I would like to uh, thank uh, Frank Thielen. I know he worked very hard to try to uh, secure this place for us. 29 Army Band, Command Sergeant Major Motley, Major and Mrs. Blevins. I'm telling you. Major Blevins sang the national anthem on my change command when I was a battalion commander. When we deployed to Kosovo together, his wife sang the national anthem on our departure ceremony. Now it comes full circle. Great job. What a talented family. Uh, Major Sheldon, uh, Chief Robinson, Captain Terry, Command Sergeant Major Kaiser, Miss Harlow Sullivan, uh, my colleagues uh, from uh, Harris, John Marcico. If you, if you take a look at that program, that's a first class. She designed it, put it uh, together, and put it out 300 plus. So great job there, Joe. Really appreciate that. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank Lieutenant Colonel Noyes and his 276 engineer team. They had a uh, couple dozens came out here the night before, set everything up, spent the night, and showed up at 07 this morning to make sure everything worked properly. So thank you guys. Really appreciate it. Deputy Secretary uh, Victoria Cochran of uh, Public Safety and Homeland Security. Welcome, ma'am. Major General Retire Long, Brigadier General Retire Scott, Brigadier General Mercer, Brigadier General Griffin, Brigadier General Heisman, Brigadier General Epperly, Command Sergeant Major Johnson, Galau, Colonels, Sergeants Majors, distinguished guests, family, friends, fellow citizen soldiers, and ladies and gentlemen of the press. Um, I am blessed beyond belief um, to see so many of my dear friends and families here today. I wish I had all the time this morning to really go and thank each and, one of, each and every one of you individually. There are so many wonderful stories, so many of you that have Tremendous amount of impact in my life. For example, I have my first English teacher here, Mary. Now, for those of you who try to teach a foreigner how to say sheet, <laughs> I'm not going to go there. It took me 20 years to try to perfect that pronunciation, <laughs> so she had a tough job. So if I messed up today, it's not your fault. <laughs> Correct. There's so many here that have such a positive contribution to my career. Like my great friend here, Warren Brassick, his lovely wife, Kelly, gave me my first job with Harris, and I'm still here for what, after 27 years. Um, boss here just swore me in but his brother, 28 years ago, a good-looking captain by the name of David P. Williams, swore me in to the guard when I was a second lieutenant. And now his brother, 28 years later, swore me in as a general. This is a family. But I want each and every one of you to know, though, all of you have either directly and or indirectly have paved the way for me to be here this morning. I am profoundly grateful 
for your presence. Um, this should serve as a testament that I did not reach this milestone on my own. The reason all of you here, because all of you have contributed. That's why I'm here. So thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking your precious time off and travel great distances to share this momentous occasion with both me and my family. I know many of you have uh, got up for dark 30 this morning. Our fellow Vietnamese American family came all the way from northern of Virginia. dark 30 came all the way down here. And I know many of my families and friends travel all the way from the West Coast. But I think the winner for today, though, went to my great dear friend, General Miko Heskanen and his lovely wife here came all the way from Helsinki, Finland. Uh -huh. in the office, watch the entire event unfold. And for pretty much the next six months, he was my uh, battle buddy to make sure I'm okay. And try, as I try to comfort my wife and my one-year-old daughter, thousands of miles.